everyone and welcome to the blog hop. Today we're going to make a picnic silverware caddy. So all you'll need is a, a cardboard bottle holder, whether it's from wine coolers or beer or soda even, and we're just going to cover it in paper. So I made the measurements and I need to make um, a piece of paper that's seven and a half inches by seven and a quarter inches. Okay, once we have our paper cut, we're just going to go ahead and glue it on. Carton works out really well because it has yellow in the background, and we're doing our car, our, we're doing our picnic holder in yellow and blue. So now we're going to do this side. With one of our scraps, we should have enough to cover the middle. So then, once we have all four sides covered, we're just going to worry about the handle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use another piece of paper that's cut and ready to go, and we're just going to staple into place with the tiny stapler. Okay, it's all stapled into place, so now we're ready for to, to decorate it. The first thing I have is some coordinating paper with stripes that are glittery that we're going to put on the front side, so it looks like there's stripes that go all the way around it. So I have a seven and a half inch by five inch strip cut. And I know you can see the bottom of the box, but we're not going to worry about decorating the bottom of the box. Okay. So we'll put this one on the front. And then we have two for the sides. So there's that much. And already it's looking super cute. So now we just need some Cricut cut out things to go on top. For the decorations for our holder, we're going to use the block party cartridge, and I've got the grill master, or the man on the cartridge, and I have his shadow and his body parts and his clothes and his apron. And the reason why I chose the man is because in our house, my husband does all the grilling. And I have the come and get it in the shadow of that too, so let's go print those out. Now that we have all of our parts cut out, let's put our guy together. I have his shirt on already, and we're just going to glue his apron on. Okay, so let's put some tape runner on his apron and let's glue that on top. Then we have his face and this is on self-adhesive paper. So okay, let's put his face on. Okay. And then we have his hand that we'll put on next. Put his little hand on. Then we have this other hand over here that's gripping the spatula. All right. All right, so there's our little man. And now we're going to put his hat on. So let's put his white hat on straight. So let's put a spatula top up here. And there he is. Okay, the finishing touches are that we're going to put his, his grid marks on his apron. So it just goes about like that. And then we have the shadow letters that we're going to glue the words onto. So let's just put some tape runner on these letters. Or you can use a glue pen, of course. I like to come and get it because I always feel like when we go on picnics or even when we're grilling out at home, we're always yelling for our kids to come and get it because they're always out playing with their friends. And <laughs> we can't, we don't... They usually don't like to come in and eat. <laughs> I don't know why. My husband's a good griller. Okay, so there's that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put him on here, and then we're going to put come and get it on here as well. But we are going to pop dot him. If you guys didn't know that already, I am the pop dot queen. So I'm going to pop dot about three pop dots on him, one on his spatula. And then we're just going to... I think I'm going to put him over here, actually. That reminds me of my husband a little bit. Whoops. We lost our spatula. We're 
we're going to put that right here. Okay, so there's our griller and our come and get it sign. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to fancy this up with some ribbon. So we're just going to take groups of ribbon. I have three different colors here, orange, yellow, and blue, and we're just going to staple them to the top. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is after we put some ribbon on both sides so that we can still lift it up in the middle, we're going to put our silverware in. So you can put forks, knives, spoons, which for some reason I don't have any spoons, so we're going to put forks and knives in. Forks, knives, and some more forks. And then you can fill the back with napkins or anything that you want. So there you go. There's our little silverware caddy for your picnic. Thanks for watching.